Welcome, Leo, to your June or mid-June love reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot, and feel free to subscribe. If you are new, we are going to uh, pull some cards for you guys. We're going to see what this person is thinking, what their next move is, what you don't see coming, the potential future, um, the challenges, of course, and see... Uh, you know more get more in depth into the situation by clarifying okay so let's go ahead and jump right into the reading let me just shuffle this one more time all right let's see what is coming in for leo Ooh, we have the hangman. Something's on pause here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Eight of Wands. Seven of Swords. Seven of Wands. Five of Cups. Six of Swords. It's very hard to move on here, I feel, from an energy. You may think that this person is being sneaky or not have the best intentions you may have your guard up and very guarded here but it is disappointing you um with the five of cups it could be a lot of sadness and disappointment due to making seeing that this person may not have the best intentions but there is some type of communication coming in with the eight of wands some progress there's a feeling of surrendering and energy um but let's see There's a change of perspective. You're coming in as a star. This person is coming in with the Six of Pentacles. There is definitely a feeling of dishonesty here, but there is a lot of emotions. The Ten of Cups, this person looks at you as, you know, somebody that they see like um, a hap they're happy with. Temperance is wanting some balance and peace. Like, I feel like this person is just, you know, they're, they're desiring for some peace possibly after a clash. There is some, uh, what you don't see coming is the uh, Page of Wands, Strength card, Justice, and the Lovers. This is making a choice if you want to let this person go or continue with this person, okay? Um, you're coming in pretty strong here, Leo, um, I feel, but I feel like this is what's taking over. I feel like you're just trying to set some healthy boundaries. I just feel like you're not believing this person for some reason. This person's coming in as the Six of Pentacles, wanting some balance. So, uh, equal give and take you're coming in as you know either losing faith within this connection or you know still have hope that there could be a renewal here uh the page of swords is you know uh, some back and forth communication maybe an argument dis, uh, disagreement here and the knight of cups is showing that there's a lot of romance a lot of potential of something growing here i feel like there you know there's emotions but there's a feeling of some type of betrayal here as just very confused maybe when it comes to commitment or long term with this person maybe you don't feel like they're aligned with your path um i feel like you are going within um with this connection it feels like it is very strong here okay but there could be a lot of arguments disputes and challenges it's still very hard to move on though with that six of swords a lot of confusion um i don't know <laughs> well, this person i feel is wanting to come in yeah, this is an opportunity of, should I take this leap of faith or not, right? This fool. Somebody's wanting to reconnect. Uh, let's see the star energy. This is the will of fortune, you know. Things are out of your control. Things could be stuck here at this time. Um, but the universe is in control of the situation, okay? That's what I feel. Things are out of your control here. The challenge is the Ten of Cups, once again, there's some disharmony. There could be some financial struggles or a different type of mindset with each other, but this is both shutting each other out in the cold in some way. Um, I feel like this person is, is wanting this opportunity and I feel like you're more stuck, um, not really knowing what direction this is going here. Uh, I don't feel like you're making any moves at this time or maybe you felt like you have given your all to this person but I, i'm seeing that there's a, a disharmony there's a potential of happiness yes but there is a disconnect um 
There's a separation here. Knight of Cups. I'm feeling maybe some financial struggles. The Emperor. Yeah, this is like, should I stay or should I go? You could be wanting more of that leadership type of energy. Someone who is, you know, stable, stable has the same focus as you, very disciplined here. Um, or this could be how you both are. You could be dealing with an Aries for some of you guys. What is this 10 of cups? This person, you know, is thinking about messaging you. You know, they have... They're wanting some type of stability. They really viewed you as, or viewing you as someone that they see, that they see a future with. Someone that they want in their life, right? Let's get temperance. Yeah, it's like they're your, they're, you're their wish fulfillment, but they're not doing anything about it. the world they're thinking this is completing like this is the end if ugh, this could be a feeling of dishonesty something somebody must have like either cheated or lied or made you feel some type of way to where you're not wanting to put in the effort anymore and this person is like feels like they're waiting on you in a way and even though they're your wish fulfillment and they're desiring for peace there's a feeling of you know a difficult decision like still not communicating it's like the world is here you know the it's completion yeah death somebody could impulsively end things maybe because they're feeling rejected in some way uh, but in the end there's some type of communication and fast movement but still we're ending with an argument. So not seeing eye to eye with an individual, something's off here. Um, I feel like the divine is in complete control of the situation. So there may be things that you don't know about with this energy. You could be very protected here by them, uh, by, by them, by the universe. Um, there's like a lot of want of happiness, but there's something that comes in that creates some type of a challenge again okay yeah it just feels like you and this person are not on the same page you are the love of my life i feel terrible for hurting you and i pulled away because i'm overwhelmed with all the things going on in my life and i feel you so someone definitely feels your energy yeah, Leo, it just feels like this person is probably, I lost myself for a little while. Um, I wish things could be different. Yeah, and that's what they're having. Like, I wish things could be different. You're their fulfillment. You're their wish. I hid who I really am from you. I know I was a distraction from your pain. And sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. So there could be some, some things that were hidden like maybe they had a mask or something they they weren't themselves um this could be a feeling of their own their own worries um i just feel like this person sees the potential of something big and i feel like you're not really seeing that anymore even though there's communication, maybe after some, you know, being apart from this person, there's still a lot of conflict and arguments. And then we do have the Seven of Swords, which kind of leads to an ending. Okay. There's like thinking this person's getting away with something or they're being dishonest or sneaky. They're not who they say they are. And then we have, you know... Yeah, I feel like this is a, a time to really conversate if you're wanting to conversate with this person. Um, and if you have been hurt in the past before, this could be reminding you, but this is a whole different situation, right? This is a whole different situation. So I wouldn't let the past pains or the past triggers affect the situation. If that that is for some of you guys, okay? If that resonates. Because 
I see that this person clearly wants an opportunity with you. I see that they look at you as their happiness. You know, they have a lot of hopes and dreams with you, but I feel like they're not making any moves either. And sometimes, and somehow this message ends, you know, or changes things. Okay. Or something you see or you hear about. Um, so, wow. Let's go ahead and grab the lovers of oracles. It says, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Yes. And it says, embrace through each other, you find the missing pieces. This feels like a twin flame type of energy, uh, honestly. Um, it's very hard to surrender this person, I feel, but at the same time, there's a want here, okay? There's both wanting to overcome challenges, but there's keeps too many blockages or miscommunication keeps happening. All right, Leo, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. You know what? Let's grab the romantic love oracles. Yeah, it says pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you and trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. That is so interesting. Pay attention to the red flags, but trust. Hmm. Take what you will with these two cards. Hmm. Interesting. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it here. If you do like this message or if it helped in any way, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys very soon. God bless.